How's everybody doing out there? Welcome to another episode of It's Real Out Here, See It. I'm It's Real Out Here. And you know me, I'm See It. What's going on with it out there, everybody? Everybody doing with them stimulus. Hey, we gonna we want to jump right into the stimulus? <laughs> hey, hey, I know the stimulus out there because, nigga, I was outside on the block, nigga, and I made $80 today in an hour off CDs and movies, nigga. Yeah, they getting it in, man. Nigga, uh, yes, nigga. Uh, uh, niggas, niggas still need it is my motto with that. Talking about oh, all shit, these niggas go out there when niggas got that stimulus, they buy everything. What you got? Just, just put me together for ten dollars worth, and I'll be right back out. Yeah, chicks do right by your kids with this stimulus, man. By going out there buying all the Brazilian hair, man. Talking about fourteen hundred dollars each kid. You not about to spend fourteen hundred dollars on that kid though. You bragging? Right. You, you was gonna spend that on you? About to go get a, 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 a Honda with Lamborghini doors, man. Ninety two Honda. They not about to buy Honda, but Hennessy, Jays, iPhones, flat screens, hair weave, uh, and it's hitting the same time as the Texas exotic weed. Niggas ain't about to do nothing. Uh, niggas ain't about to get their credit together, pay off their student loans, pay off their grandma, they owe some money. Shouts out to all my niggas. They got the big girls, man. It's a double whammy, man. You get the stimulus, and you get the unemployment. It's a triple. It's a triple. T- and you get the stimulus, the unemployment, and the tax ass. At the same damn time, I wait on my stimulus. I call my motherfucking card every <laughs> every day. <laughs> if what on every day, I will be calling back tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. I will call it to that bitch hit, nigga. <laughs> We go, it's me yeah, again, man. nigga. That bitch still say one hundred and ninety-two dollars, nigga. That ain't double gas bill, light bill, buddy. Walmart where's the, where's workers, the bands? restaurant workers, all about to be salty because capacity is about to be at an all-time high because of the stimulus and it's income tax time. They didn't. Ain't gonna be a crab leg in the ocean. Yeah, man. They about to eat all the crab legs. This, we, the crabs are gonna be extinct. Cows, no steak. Chicken, they don't get double steak, double double chicken. The Chipotle line already be long. You about to wait forty five minutes for your bowl. Chick Fil A is ridiculous. Oh my goodness! And then when you get up there, ain't ain't gonna be ain't gonna be no meat left. Chick Fil A is is ridiculous without the stimulus in Texas. They jump regardless. Like, they line be all the way out to the street. It's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't never eat Chick Fil A. Speaking man. of fast food restaurants. EC, get y'all fast food restaurants together. How I come up there, y'all closed doing the shift change. I can't make an order. And then I go to the other one, the Popeyes. Y'all don't got shrimp. Y'all don't got chicken. How you don't got f- food that you sell? How the system down? How's how's we how's y'all making money if your system is down? I think EC budgeted. <laughs> what does that got to do with the franchises? Why can't you yeah. make money? Yeah, they budgeting with the franchises, man. DC broke. They trying to sell the city. I might try to buy the city. They auctioning the city. Nigga, you all you want to need is to buy EC is a hundred thousand dollars in a seven fifty credit score. And you can own. <laughs> you ain't got credit. You got to buy. You can own the yeah. whole city of East Cleveland. Yeah. And, and why? And why are there so? They trying to fix the potholes a little bit, but they still got some craters out there that they just act like they don't see. And potholes is the size of tortoises, man. Man, adult tortoises, three two hundred year old tortoise. So for sure, for sure, man. Hey, man, calves, get it together. Calves, please get it together, man. Y'all, just don't make no sense to trade a day before the trade deadline. Y'all gonna wait? It's the fourteenth. Y'all gonna wait till the the day before the the twenty fourth? Y'all wait till the twenty fourth to get man. Get it together, man. So y'all know, uh, I've been doing the uh, construction Please. shit. If y'all listen to the podcast, I've been working with the construction and shit like that. Please. And I had a jug. I had a jug today. See it on the carpet, right? Mm-hmm. And I, uh, but my brother, he he busy and shit. He couldn't make it. And and you know me, you feel me? I ain't really, I ain't really all the way up there. So I was gonna go up there, bitch, and wing it. 
like I know what I'm doing. Then I did. Then I would. When I went on YouTube, I talked to my boss. She like, don't go up there and wing it. Don't, <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't not do that. They they fuck they shit up. <laughs> he said, is it under my name? I said, no, I ain't put it. Under, I ain't say he was under your name. Well, don't, don't act like it's under my name. Cause you would not want <laughs> to go up there and fuck that lady shit up. Cause I ain't go fix it. <laughs> so I went So I, I YouTube She's like I can do this shit I got the tools I got a I got a hammer I got a staple gun I got a measuring tape I can do this But I need a carpet Bumper And some bullshit And some shit I ain't got <laughs> I'm, I'm like man I'm like Miss I won't be able to make it I gotta get the proper toolage <laughs> cause, cause, Cause I told her I was on my way man It did listen I told her like You know it's a 50% deposit do on arrival. She was cool with that. I was like, oh, but I was like, oh, if I go there and take this lady deposit and <laughs> fuck her shit up. Right. But how I could have finessed it though, for real, I talked to my nigga, my nigga Juice, my right hand and shit. I talked to him, he like, bro, you should have consulted with me. You should have went up there as you should have did. You should have went up there, got the deposit, fake, fake some measurements on her ass, took a couple pictures. Oh, then when you go back up there with your brother, that's when you who really kind of know what he doing. That's when you come like you go up there, you feel me, measure some shit, talk to whoop de whoop. Then you come back the next couple of days and then y'all gonna knock it out. I'm like, you know what? You right. I probably could have finessed it like that. You feel me? You feel we got some measurements on our ass, right, right, some roast some shit down. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, so got that deposit. Too. It got my ass up out of there. But I said, no, I don't know if I go up there and, and fake like I know what I'm doing and fuck, this, fuck up my reputation on my first job. Like, nigga, this, this would be my first job. Why you fuck up your whole name off the gate? Go outside yeah. and sell these movies because that Stimmy just hit. So go out there and hit that Blizzard and I, you feel me? You going to make that shit anyway. And that's hey. what the fuck I did, nigga. Those Stimmy's is out there. I ain't sell down a flash drop, nigga. All off outdated technology, nigga. It's gone, nigga. Go out there, yeah. whoever out there hustling, nigga. Y'all know it's going. Y'all phone going, nigga. Whoever, whatever you doing, nigga. You know what time it is. It's, it's tax season. It's hustle season. Money season, nigga. What? Call me anything but a broke nigga. I'll go for what you say about me. You see the, you see the, you see the, uh, mm -hmm. the interview with Oprah, Prince Harry, and uh, the Megan chick, his wife. Oh yeah, I didn't see the interview, but they is talking about it, man. Uh, crazy, man. They said that they was it's a royal family. Of course, they racist. They 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 started slavery. Would you think they was they liked the black people? Uh, you think when you went and had a baby with that black girl that 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 they was going to be happy and uh, accepting of this this black baby? It was, it was deep though, man. It's like basically they said, uh, basically they said uh, they 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 basically let them know like. The baby born and wouldn't and they don't got no title under nothing, nor would have had no security. I'm like, dang. Like they let him know that ahead of time, like out gate. Like, you know what I mean? This ain't how it is. And then Harry, like, I just don't want the cycle to repeat itself. Talking about his mom. You know what I mean? The reason why his mom got dead is cause she got a divorce. Don't know royals get On the divorced. Conspiracy side of the game. Don't know royals get divorced. You know what I mean? It's forever. You got to so doubt this shit. She one of the first ones to break break that. That's why she supposedly crashed out or whatever. You know, Queen Elizabeth ain't playing no game. So Harry know <laughs> what it is. You know what I mean? Harry like, oh, we out. Queen ain't playing so he no dropped, games. So he dropped everything. His title and everything. Respects to Harry. My name real Harry, dude. No, real nigga. Friends. He fought with us uh, in Iraq. He was out there flying the helicopters and shit. In the field. Yeah, I saw that shit on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm a YouTube head. I love the YouTube shit. But Harry was out there. He was a helicopter flyer or some shit. He was out there knocking the shit field. down. Battling too. And knocking he shit said he down. Ain't run on security with him. Yeah. Bitch probably got the pole on him. But yeah. Harry, Harry, what you would run up on him? Harry gonna beat your ass then shoot you. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it was deep though, man. I'm like, dang, man. The Royals, man. They started they slavery. It. See, they, they do it. not like niggas. I said, they gonna die it. with that. <laughs> like you said, like you just said, the queen ain't about that. Queen is not playing. Hey, uh, not not over her dead body. Said <laughs> over uh, her dead body. But um, yeah, it was it was it was crazy. Kodak and Pooh Shiesty in it went to it about an ad lib. Oh man, big brr. Big brr. That's my yeah. shit. <laughs> they they. Arguing about that. That's that's man. man then I heard they was arguing man. about the money, the money fan on the on the hands. Pooh Shiesty up to shit. I was ten years old doing this shit on Instagram. Man. Like I was ten years old with the money on up up and on my arm and shit. It's 
Uh, that's, that's petty not, ass. Right. Y'all niggas is rich as fuck, and rich. y'all arguing about who who put the money on their arm. Nigga, you got money on your arm. You fuckers on the wrong shit, nigga. You three fuckers on getting more money on your motherfucking arm. That just trying to go out there with be, another nigga. Uh, if I'm rich, I'm not even. That's the last thing on my mind is trying to compete Beefing. with another nigga who already who got money too. I'm not compete with nobody if I'm. Why don't broke y'all do a song money. together or some shit? Yeah, cloud chasing is at an all time high. And then, uh, what they what I was about to say, uh, little baby, I know y'all saw this nigga airballing every shot he put up. He was in a basketball game with Quavo or some shit, yeah, some little league game. and shit. Yeah, little all star game. And two chains or some shit. I think this nigga brick everything. I'm talking about. Air ball. I'm talking about no contact, no rim, no nothing. Just nigga, you don't you, you really was selling drugs all your life. You ain't even go outside and hoop nah. twice a week. Nah, he don't talk about it. Man, this nigga <laughs> ain't never <laughs> shot. A, he has no coordination. You would yeah. think every black man from the hood can make at least a layup. Not little baby. I was like, oh man, I he am disappointed in you. He was getting tips on stretching at the beginning of the game man. by Jack Harlow. Bro, you, how to you, stretch. he balling, he balling like an athlete, but got no motherfucking jumper, man. <laughs> balling like an athlete, but got no jumper. Shout out, no jumper podcast. But yeah, man, that shit crazy, little baby, man. Holler at me, bro. Give me ten thousand dollars, and I'll shoot you, and I'll teach you how to shoot, man. Get your form together, man. We a practice, man. Three times a week, man. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, man. Give me ten yeah. bands. You, I got you. Yeah, that man, that man, little baby, man. It's hoping ain't for him. It's not. It's not for him. Do we ever talk about the? He bought the porn star. Yeah, yeah I think we might talk about yeah, that, man. Yeah. He said that in the song. Yeah, that, that's he was like. If I like it, I spend money on it, give it over. I feel you. Yeah, I ain't buying no gun. Fuck that shit. I need all my money. Y'all. If I, I like it, I spend money, man. If I like it, I spend money on it. I just shave say it, nigga. And people chain your dogs up, man. <laughs> this nigga see it. You, see it. Tra- you was on uh, I saw you on real, Facebook talk about the dog, the dog shit, baby. That's on your a skit. Real situation, man. That was ranting. And that was a real situation I was ranting on, man. If y'all ain't seen it, go on my Instagram. See it be 216. But chain your dogs up, man. And then half of y'all be saying this train. The dog don't even listen to you, motherfuckers, man. Man, that dog do whatever the fuck it want to do. He be like, sit. The dog just be still barking at me. It's supposed <laughs> to be listening to you. You got no control, your dog. And then all the people saying dogs and things don't bite. We bite. Anything with teeth, got, we bite. They bite. They got to chew to eat. That's biting. Your dog bite, man. Especially if I'm a stranger. Shit, I'll bite a nigga ass. Your dogs. If he beat my ass, got me in a choke, I'm gonna bite the shit out your ass. Chain up your dog. He bite. Man, shouts out to Just Fly. Let's take a minute to shouts out to Just Fly. Hey man, you see, I got I got my hat on this episode, Let's man. See. You feel me? We ain't gonna spill the beans, but hey, it's gonna drop anyway. Yeah, Just Fly was just. You know, in the interview, we actually performing interviews and things of that nature. So you will see that episode. Very, very soon. By the time you see this episode, you already saw the other episode. So, yeah, man, it's just fly. Thank you for coming through. You feel me? Uh, one of my business partners, man, a dude that I really look up to, uh, entrepreneur in the game, man, a real hustler in the city, man. If you don't know Just Fly 216, then you don't know nobody, man. You heard it. <laughs> well, yeah, see man. It, man. Listen, man, let's get... I want to get back to the STEMI because... I really want to see this is the last time we probably gonna get stimmy. They not just gonna keep on just dropping niggas off. Yeah, bands. he said by July we should all be chilling so, with so, our families so, on July fourth. So uh so please get an right. LLC registered trademark something. I, I got my name trademark. I'm gonna let you know what I'm gonna do with my stimmy nigga. I'm gonna get mm-hmm. motherfucking get my mother finally get my muffler together. That bitch ain't gonna be loud no more. <laughs> nigga, I bought two front tires, I'm gonna get two back tires. I might throw some tin on that bitch. You feel me? Ten him out one T. <laughs> and I bought those old rails all I said, hey, why not gonna get on rails? That's a whole that's the whole I ain't got enough for all that. The rest of that nigga. Nigga, the rest of that, I'll probably go try to stack, man. You feel me? Probably reinvest in my hustle or some shit. But man, please, people, man, get your LLC. Oh yeah, give me your LLC. That's on your honey. Mm-hmm. Get that. 
You feel me? But get you an LLC, man. You fuck around, get a business loan. This is what you do. Get you an LLC, get you a business, let it run for six months. Apply, if, apply for a loan. They got grants and loans and all that. You get one of them, boom. They're anywhere from twenty five to 50000 You feel me? They giving out free money if you got a business. You feel me? LLC yeah. and all that. So you need to go it's on here. game. You feel me? Invest in some T-shirts, wigs, hats, sunglasses, t hoodies, whatever. Whatever you want to do. Flash rods, oil, Speaking shea of butter. that, man, I got to get my... Uh... Get my material to see it. The little Sid shirts is coming next week. Yeah, man. I'm putting it out there. Little Sid shirts is coming next week. Listen, For you sure. can go to alibaba.com and damn near order anything wholesale. And you don't even need an LLC for that. But you can just order whatever wholesale and, and, and get it shipped to you. And get yeah. your hustle on, people, man. Stop. We as black people, man, we consumers, man. You always want to get some money and give it right back to the white people who, who are oppressing us. I don't want to get all mythological on y'all niggas, but it's real, it's though. Mythology. Are you <laughs> all get mythological on all, all y'all niggas? But it's real, man. Y'all keep on getting that money and give it right back to them. Ain't, ain't got an LLC, ain't got, ain't, ain't keep, go buy a bucket, weak ass car, go buy some flat yeah. screens. It's programmed. S some, some Hennessy it's and some J's. It's programmed Come in on, man. Oh, I, I can finally get an iPhone. Come on, man. You, what you about doing That's an iPhone? That's what they want to do. That's why Make they a skit. Them the, you won't even got a TikTok the money. or nothing. They're giving them the money so they can spend it right back with them and get it right back. So, you know. So, we, if y'all keep on doing that, we ain't gonna never, we ain't gonna never get nowhere. We ain't gonna never be shit as a people as a whole. If y'all keep on getting all these free bands, these niggas had 20, 10, 20, 30,000. Ain't got shit to show for it. Unemployment, stimulus, all that yeah. put together. These niggas that had 30, 40,000. I know niggas, young niggas in some more shit getting 100,000, 80,000 dollar play in 2,000 bank scams. Niggas doing it. all type of shit. Yeah. It's too much money out here for niggas to be broke, man, and not flipping it. Yeah, you know, blow through it. Get your get your life together, man. Everybody don't think the same, man. Can't change the world, man. We can get if I can get if I can reach one person. Say I to change the world, but if this, but if this, if this message could get to one viewer, and you and you get you an LLC, free man. And you get you an LLC, nigga. I did my job. I go fuck. But yeah, man, this nigga see it, see it, see it was not all this shit today. See it was like join this, uh, <laughs> enjoy this weather, everybody, and and don't be on no bull crap because you see sunlight, man. See, they yeah. already shooting, see it. They been shooting since the winter. Yeah, they been shooting the winter, yeah, but it's like man. you know, in the summertime, niggas shoot, 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 shoot. I'm talking about broad day with it. We don't give a fuck. It's time to shoot. Six, do not bring. It's still cold. Do not bring out your um, bot flops and your um them hoodie dresses with the short sleeves with the hoodie <laughs> on them. I hate those. You know they've been waiting. You know they've been waiting to get sandals. naked, Sid. I hate those too. I hate gladiator sandals that go up to your knees. Them Xena joints. I don't like those. Don't like I ain't talking this ain't for the thoughts, but we're gonna take it back to the word bops. The real bops, Sid. The bops out here, they they can't wait to it to to it to be 70 in sunshine. They got an outfit already. Picked out from last year, they gonna wear. They wearing the shit from last year. They even bought a new outfit. They gonna wear that same outfit from last summer. Girl, right. we saw that last year. If you gonna if you gonna do that, switch it up. Please get a new pair of leggings. That's a little legged outfit, bitch. What the what the colors like the collage? You know what I'm talking about that same. They all got all yeah. the spray paint collage color joint. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. What the shirt to match? Like a Fuji type situation. Yeah, they all get that shit from oh, Rainbow. Man. <laughs> well, I know I know rainbow clothes when I see it. Man, I'm standing in rainbow clothes, <laughs> spending hundred dollars. Come on, I remember, I, I remember I bought a bitch an outfit for rainbow. That shit came up to twenty eight dollars and thirty eight cent. This is cheap oh, yeah. ass clothes. <laughs> Came out with some accessories and everything. Man, she just came out with a whole outfit. <laughs> yeah, for other thirty dollars. <laughs> It's still, it's still snitch nine, man, getting on my nerves. Oh man, I saw the nigga on on uh, Instagram uh, 
YouTube or some shit earlier with all these cars. Talking about these all my cars. You know, them ain't all your yeah, cars. You capping he is. He had them before. Yeah, he is. He, he probably cap. He, he probably rented a couple of them shit. He got ten million. He got ten million. As soon as he came home, Joe got. And he spent for it all million. on cars and watches. You fucking idiot. And he had and cars change. and shit before before the. Okay, had all that shit, shit add up to about ten. The cars he had and the, and the jewelry. But he together. had that before then. He, he snitched. Fizz man. and seizures stuff. He had that before then. He was rich before man. then. Man, he rich. had money before then. Right. He's richer. You but listen, I mean? it looked like but he got that whole team. Like, See, he got that whole yeah. team and spent it on liabilities. Yeah. And he don't got Ooh, nothing else on, to do. On what he got to do? He can't do nothing for real. He's under protective custody. Can't live life. So he bored his So to all the snitches out there, man, you can't live life the way you want to regularly because like, you got paperwork on you up, oh, man. It's going to be hard for you out here. It's going to be hard unless you move to Maine, Wyoming, Idaho, New Hampshire, stuff of that nature. You know? <laughs> you got to move to Utah. Yeah, you feel me? Alaska. It, it, it don't pay the snitch, But no, man. no, no, hold up. Snitches, snitches is not getting killed no more. You see what he doing? He already living the best life. Ain't nothing happening to these niggas. Protective custody. Alpo just got out of jail and they, and they, and they came that nigga with gifts and money, man. These niggas. He didn't tell on his hood. He, he told, told on, on niggas. Washington. It don't matter. Snitching is snitching. They don't give a fuck about that in no, his hood. He, he still snitched. He ain't telling on them. That's I don't give a fuck. He told on the nigga in Thailand. He told on the nigga. He bought that. You ain't about to come to Alpo with none of that. He bought that snitching. See, you can't say yeah. fuck with the snitches and then give Alpo a pass. No, I'm saying he he will tell him you you ain't gonna tell him he a snitch to his face. Guaranteed. You Alpo. That's how I would. And, and I'm he sure gonna, niggas and have. Gonna, and he gonna bust you. No, he haven't. They threw a party for him in Harlem. They threw a party. Jada Kiss and all them. Need, the hood loves him. He Man. did a documentary. He's good. I mess with Alpo. I know how New York people move. I watch them all the time. I Since I was a little, a little homie. He in the same category as snitch now. Mm-hmm. A nigga so that told, he might be a gangster snitch. Snitch, mm-hmm. he a, snitch nine, a, a, bitch, snitch a bitch. bitch ass snitch. And, and Alpo is a gangster snitch, but he ain't still in the snitch game. But, uh, see the hero there. Snitches get stitches. Like I said, all snitches out there. Don't pay to be a snitch. You can't live comfortably. Period. That's what I. That's how I feel. That's what I know. For sure. But uh, let's yeah. talk about let's talk about niggas out here not driving properly. I ain't the best driver in the world. I know I be tweaking sometimes, <laughs> but nigga, I at least try to use my motherfucking blinker, man. God damn, man. How many times you gonna cut a nigga off? And then don't use your blinker. That shit is so irritating. Please just use a blinker. Yeah. That's all I want y'all to do up there. Slow drivers, driving slow. When you think it's a thousand people in front of them, ain't nobody in front of they them. Going, they going 23, holding up all the traffic. Like, yeah. what is y'all doing? Can I get around? Fetting I'm going around y'all off. But I ain't, so like I, said, though, I ain't gonna say that. I don't be tweaking sometimes, but I use my blinker. <laughs> you ain't go. You ain't gonna say I cut you off without blinking first. You saw. You you know what the fuck I was trying to do before I did it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's there. They can flick that bitch up and down. Nigga. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Man. Man, we back in the go to Ox Studio. Man, I love this podcast shit. I don't give a fuck. Like I'm gonna do this shit to until I can't never do this shit again. Nigga, this is show this is show. my motherfucking platform to come out here and say whatever the fuck is all my motherfucking mind. Nigga, this is this is this is the shit, nigga. Shout out to all the podcasters I fuck with, man. I'll keep on showing y'all because I watch y'all. 85 South Show. Shout out to 5150. Shout out to Drink Champs. Let me take a drink for Drink Champs. No worry in them. DJ EFN. Shout out uh million dollars worth of gang. That's the 85 South Show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, man, that's just a few I can think of right now, man. You know, on the fucking podcast game, man. I'm trying to get my game up there one day. If I keep on being persistent with this shit and I keep on pushing to get anything as possible, nigga, I'm Mr. Perseverance, nigga. Call me Mr. Perseverance, nigga. Because I keep on pushing. <laughs> you feel me? 
Mm. To the grave this shit, I do this comedy shit, man, stand up shit. Nigga, catch me hosting, nigga, catch me making memes, catch me doing little skits, trying to go viral, catch me doing all that shit. I did it all, man. Check out my Instagram. It's real out here three, nigga. And scroll down, nigga, so you can be entertained, nigga. All original shit, so. nigga. I build my brand off originality, nigga, and not giving a fuck. Nigga, say whatever fuck I want to say, nigga. Yes, nigga, if I catch her bitch in a bind, she's going to be mine, nigga. Hmm. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Mm-hmm. So me, nigga. See, what you want to tell these motherfuckers, man? All right, man. I'm dropping the skit. I'm, I'm cool. I'm oh, yeah. I, well, you ain't saying nothing about the little shit. Uh, shit you... She's not ready yet. You, oh, he's saying, oh, I'm going to it when it's ready. When it's time, I don't even want to talk to that guy. Yeah. I don't even want to talk to that guy. It ain't in motion yet, so why talk about it? It'll it come to him. I already told everybody it's coming soon. Last podcast, so. We speak Stay shit to existence over here. Stay tuned. And I'm going to I'm a, uh, let y'all know I got the motherfucking... Um, it's Real Out Here Comedy Showcase Part 2 coming very soon, man. Mm-hmm. That's another thing I'm going to do with my motherfucking stimulus is book me another venue, man. If you don't put me on your show, it's cool because I'm going to put myself on my own show and bring the funniest niggas there and rock that bitch out again. And I'll do that shit forever, nigga. Mm-hmm. Fuck it. You always got a nigga. You always got to keep it going. This shit, this shit, this shit have bumps, ups, and downs. All type of shit. Sometimes shit don't fall through, but you just gotta keep it going. This your passion. This my passion. Like I do this shit. Like this is what I'm gonna keep on doing. I don't give a fuck. What the fuck happened? I love this shit, man. I don't know why I'm I'm ran. I'm drunk, y'all. <laughs> Everybody stay safe out there, man. Stay stay sucker free, man. And listen, man, speaking on staying safe, don't get robbed, people. Stop telling people on Facebook that you got your fucking Money, I lines hit. Check y'all account. Check y'all account. Y'all know the Jack Boy is looking at that shit too. Mm-hmm, I ain't say I ain't never sure. doing that shit, but people every time I do it, my mama like stop telling people you got money, baby. Mm-hmm. Because the Jack Boys is watching too. They are going to rob you. They know so, where you stay at. They know you. They know you keep cash lurking, on you. They know you don't you like use your debit card. They know you took five thousand dollars off that motherfucking ATM. And you you got it in your pocket or your purse. They know you about to buy some flat screens. They know you about to buy some designer. They will break in your house and take all of that shit. Yeah. They will take them sounds out your car. If you are gonna get some sounds on your shit, get an alarm first. An uh, extra couple hundred dollars. Get the sounds and the alarm at the same damn time, nigga. Because they will break in your shit and take your shit. This is Cleveland. Speaking of that, see, I forgot. You see in Atlanta, uh, that made me think about that Super Bowl weekend. What was that? Uh, uh, All-Star weekend. Mm-hmm. And they took the rims off everybody's shit. Yeah, it was going down. The water people, water niggas that sell water made bank that weekend. It was going down. Man, they took the down. rims. They broke in your shit. And with every, the luggage, whatever in this car is out of this car. We taking the title to this bitch. I don't give a fuck. It was ever in this bitch. The weed you had in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the little, in the little seat and shit. That's gone. These niggas is out here thirsty, nigga. These niggas is broke as fuck. That's a broke nigga hustle breaking in cars and shit. You was a broke ass, no morals ass, bum ass nigga. You breaking in somebody's fucking car and niggas out there selling water, making bank an honest hustle, nigga. That's a grown man. He he wanna bought him some water, probably with food stamps too. Really killing the game. He was got some food stamps, invested fifty dollars in waters. And so the bitches probably one or two dollars a piece. Even if something was one dollars a piece, you going. But a nigga, fuck around, give you two, two dollars a piece. Really kill that. Yeah, they was hustling. They was hustling. But uh, nigga, get some money, my nigga. All that broke ass shit, nigga. You out here plotting that goes, on niggas. That goes to say, do something productive with y'all week this week. Get some money, get a job. Do something productive this week, man. Be safe. Don't spend your all your money. Be productive and responsible. On liabilities. The only difference between an asset and a liability. You will you will learn about that on uh this week's episode that's dropping. You will learn the difference. And do not spend all your money on fucking liabilities. Cause they ain't nothing but liabilities. Damn, people, they not about to keep on dropping all that unemployment shit. That shit is gonna have to stop one day. Y'all about to quit y'all. These niggas probably really quit their job because they got yeah. 1400 and some unemployed. You know that shit not going to last forever? Yeah. You know that shit? You got you to no. quit that shit? <laughs> this nigga was walked through the cash. <laughs> this is some hood shit, y'all. It's, it, you feel me? 
this is this in a nice studio, but we some hood yeah. niggas, so hood shit happen. But we feel right. <laughs> that's, that's what's going on <laughs> with the situation. Had to move Germ, on. Jeremy can edit that out though. <laughs> he, right. You know he he, he he can edit that out. Y'all might not even see that. But um, yeah, man, y'all stay cool out there, man. Yeah, man, we ain't got too much to say, but every time we, we just had to something. tune in with y'all. Y'all, man, catch us next week on It's Real Out Here, Sid. My name is Real Out Here. And you know I'm Sid, why? And we gonna have that man call you. <laughs> it's Real Out Here. For sure.